Me Medicine Cram, Electrocardiogram, Flashcard Set 11, Post-Operative Hemorrhage and Pulseless Electrical Activity. This deck of cards can be used as review for the National Council Licensure Examination. While caring for a patient who is experiencing a post-operative hemorrhage, a health, the healthcare provider notes the rhythm observed on the electrocardiogram. The EKG does not produce a pulse. Which actions should the healthcare provider initiate to resolve the patient's problem? Select all the options or actions that apply. A, defibrillation. And for those of you who um, aren't familiar with the term fibrillation, it's when muscular twitching involving individual muscle fibers acts without coordin coordination. Specifically in the heart, it's a very rapid, irregular contraction of the muscle fibers, and this results in a lack of synchronism between heartbeat and pulse. So defibrillation is the stopping of fibrillation of the heart by administering a controlled electric shock in order to allow restoration of the normal rhythm. Option or action B, administration of an IV crystalloid. And in case you're wondering um, what the term IV crystalloid means, crystalloid solutions are the common IV bags chosen, um, especially in the United States. Our top ones are normal saline and lactated ringer solution. Option C, administration of epinephrine, which is um, adrenaline. Option D, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR. Option E, administration of vasoconstrictors, or option F, synchronized cardioversion. And if, in case you're wondering what synchronized cardioversion is, it's um, shock delivery that is timed with the QRS complex um, that's observed on an EKG. The synchronization avoids shock delivery during the relative re, the relative um, refractory portion of the cardiac cycle or the repolarization portion when a shock uh, could be produ could produce ventricular fibrillation. Okay. All right. So I'll give you a moment to select the correct courses of action. Okay. So um, let's first try to figure out what the patient is experiencing. The rhythm on the electrocardiogram does not produce a pulse, so the patient is experiencing pulseless electrical activity, or PEA. PEA is not a shockable um, rhythm, therefore defibrillation and synchronized cardioversion wouldn't be courses of action for the healthcare provider or providers to take, but um, high quality CPR should be started immediately. And an important treatment for PEA is to address the underlying cause. And the underlying cause of pulseless electrical activity in this patient is going to be hypovolemia because of the post-operative bleeding or post-operative hemorrhaging, okay? So what can be done is the administration of the IV fluids and vasoconstrictors, again, along with CPR and epinephrine um, to get the heart going. So finally, the correct courses of action are cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR, administration of IV crystalloid, administration of vasoconstrictors, as well as administration of epinephrine. All right.